I say too, it's very humbling because mm -hmm. it is a huge honor and privilege to, to lead this regiment. Mm -hmm. you know, frankly, there's a lot of leaders who could lead this regiment, and I'm just the one who is fortunate enough to be in the right time, right place, and selected to have this honor. Yeah. And it's truly what it is. I sincerely look forward to it. The, the lesson that we all are going to take away from from this last two years is the importance of building a cohesive team that's built on trust. In our profession, the foundation of our profession is trust. Uh, but trust is something you have to earn. Uh, and what we really try to do in, in the regiment over the last two years is empower our junior leaders uh, and show them that we trust them to make decisions. We're going to carry on what's already in place. We have a fantastic team we are inheriting uh, from the current command teams at the squadron as well as the regiment level, Colonel Richardson. So we're not going to change what they've already started. We're just going to grow upon that. You know, focusing on our, our young leaders, developing them as future uh, senior leaders, and making them, empowering them, and, and, and you know, doing everything we can to uh, make them agile, adaptive, and, and lethal in what they do on a day-to-day -day basis.